Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betanba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much, and my prayer for you is that the good Lord rewards your consistency, blesses you as never before. Let God uplift you, let God transform your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get the right view because I'm in a taxi right now and um it's it's dark. I could not drive. I've not been feeling so so strong um, recently, so i i was unable to drive i told myself if i want to drive i'm just i might just not be able to drive so i've not been able to drive since i i i came back here for about one week now and then i decided to take a taxi and i'm trying to get the view <clears throat> this word dropped in my spirit and i want to talk to somebody because this is very important right regardless we just need the message at this point in time and not the image hallelujah so um this is a very great word and this is somebody's situation right now and i know that i'm talking to you and every time you're led in your spirit to click a word my goodness there's so many tools like when, if i'm driving i know okay i'm going to pay tools or I know my way straight and all that you know somehow but taxis uh taxis in dubai is very expensive like in a very short distance i've already had goodness gracious lord how much but that is because of tolls and all of that right i feel better sitting and being um being you know, i want to say i want to say chauffeured chauffeur is in french i just feel comfortable to I'd rather sit and let somebody else drive rather than me driving and I might just get into into something serious even more so it's better so um I was sitting and this particular word dropped in my spirit and this is really heavy because this is what somebody's going through right now and I said I was trying to say before I saw the toll gates and all that I was trying to say that for you to be led by Thank you, Jesus. I was saying that for you to be led by the Spirit of God, to have clicked on this particular video, it means that God wanted you to know something. He wants you to hear something and all that. You know, there is somebody you told yourself you were tired. You told yourself it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Like, it's, it's really, really been a lot. And you told yourself you were tired at this point. You know, one thing about life is we go through a lot and everybody has what is called an elastic limit. Human beings, I would say in these words, are elastic. Because why? Why do I say human being is, is, is liking to have the characteristics of, of, having, of being elastic? Because there are people that you can pull them. There are people who you can stretch them now when i'm talking about stretching i'm talking about there are people who you can keep doing some things to them and they keep taking it that's what i'm trying to say but you know it gets to a particular stage where they can no more take it and this is liking to you too it gets to a particular stage where you can no more take it you can no longer take it now that is what i'm talking about you said to yourself you were tired and even God knows that you are tired, honey. Yeah. Even God knows that you are tired. When you said to yourself that you were tired. You know, there is so much that is going on right now. And so many of us, we want to change in our lives. We've been trusting and we've been praying to God. We've been believing that the Lord is going to transform our lives in one way or the other. I don't know about you, but... I've been so expectant about a lot of things about life. 
I'm one of those people who love to have a good life, right? In the revelation of God. Because sometimes you would want something, and when the Spirit of the Lord begins to open your eyes to make you understand better, then you get to understand that there is a time for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1, the Bible says, There is a time for everything. There is a season for every there is a there is a time for every purpose and a season for everything now when you begin to get the revelation about your own life how life is supposed to be and whatever whatever you're going to be an amazing person and you're going to be a very happy person but it gets to a stage where we keep waiting and waiting and nothing seems to happen and we get tired somebody you're watching me right now you said to yourself you're tired you're tired of remaining single. You're tired of being jobless. You're tired of having financial limitations in your life. You're tired of having a dead relationship. You're tired of having a dead relationship. You're tired of just, just being the way you are. You don't like it. Probably you're tired of the country you are right now in. Probably you're just tired of your state. God knows you're tired. I was sitting and this one dropped greatly in my spirit. God knows you are tired. He understands your situation. He knows what you're going through. He knows what is happening in your life. The Bible says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dreamed. Then their mouths were filled with laughter and their tongues with singing. Then said they, the hidden, The Lord has done great things for them. God is about to do a great thing for you. And you will testify to the glory of God. By the time he will be done with you, in the name of Jesus, I speak blessings into your life. I speak glory. I speak success. You will testify. It's just a matter of time. You will testify to the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, I will testify to the glory of God in the mighty name. Of Jesus, Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast His face to shine in you. May He be gracious to you, and may He give you peace. Of the shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In the name of Jesus, look at me. I know you are tired, and God knows you are tired, and we all know you are tired. But it is just a matter of time. God makes everything beautiful time. Please, if this has been a great help to you, I would beg of you that you please pray for me, intercede for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you to do so. Please call my name in the place of your prayers. Keep praying for me. Keep trusting God for me. Even me, I get tired sometimes and so many times. But sometimes you just have to keep on going while we are waiting for God to do what He has to do in our life. I'm not a superhuman. I'm always very truthful to us. Uh, you never look at me and see like, oh, she has everything going on well for her life. Honey, I have some things that I'm still trusting God for. And get that straight into your heart. You will know that the people you see and admire, they also have battles. I also have my own battles. I am tired too. I am waiting on God too. Together, let's keep waiting on God. I love you so much. I'll see you in our next prayer session. Shalom.